footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down an AFC divisional playoff matchup between the Texans and the Ravens. Now let's look at the Texans offensive game plan in this matchup where they can attack Baltimore. I think they have to get to the edge. If they can get to the edge in the passing game and also in the running game, they can have some success. Arian Foster had an outstanding day last week against the Bengals. Against the Ravens, he can have similar type of success as far as getting to the edge. So I look at the matchup being the tackle and tight end play of Houston getting to the second level on those Ravens outside linebackers that's going to be the determinant whether or not they can move the football up and down the field and then they could take advantage of the play action pass and keep in a protective pocket for TJ Yates who didn't turn the football over so I look for him to play the same type of game against Baltimore so look for Arian Foster to have a bulk of the carries Ben take the chip in as well and also the tight end play to be vital in the passing game for Houston that's going to keep Baltimore's defense at bay now let's look at the defensive game plan for Houston in this matchup. One thing that the Texans do well, they collapse the pocket. Flacco is a guy that can move, but he's not overly athletic. So if they can collapse the pocket and keep him standing right there at his original launch pad spot, the Texans can get pressure. Now the interior pressure may be tough, but the outside rushers should have a field day. That's Ballrin and also Brooks Reed. Those guys should be able to meet at the QB. And it's all about getting pushed. Once they get to the point where their pass the, the quarterback in Flacco, they got to flatten out and collapse Key Flacco in inside the pocket. And also running the football has to be vital. The stopping the run. You have to stop Ray Rice. You have to take Ray Rice out of the equation in order to have any type of success, success defensively. Because Ray Rice is 75% of their offense and they want to run everything through the young guy back there in the backfield. Now let's take a look at Baltimore's keys to victory on offense, their offensive game plan. We just mentioned it. We talk about it every week. Ray Rice. He's a guy that needs touches. He's a guy that can handle 25 to 30 carries. And the way you defeat pressure, you got to run right at it. So I look for them to get more downhill against the Houston Texans. You want to force those edge rushers to be run defenders. And if they're run defenders, they can't. You're taking their biggest strength and making it their biggest weakness. And in the passing game, they get Anquan Bolden back, which is going to be huge. That gives Flacco the target. And also those tight ends in Pitta and also Dixon have to come to the party with their A game. Reason being, they're going to be the initial targets of Flacco. So they're going to have to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups versus that Houston Texans secondary. If they can't do so, the Texans can't and shut down what the Ravens want to do throwing the football. Now let's look at Baltimore's defensive game plan against Houston. When you're playing the Houston Texans in their outside zone, their inside zone, it's all about one versus the inside zone dominating the center. If you can dominate the center in the inside zone running game, you can dominate the running attack. Now you look at the outside running attack, that's all going to fall on the shoulders of Suggs and company. They have to set the edge. You cannot allow Houston to get to the outside. If they get to the edge, if those tackles and tight ends get to the second level, lights out, it's Foster around the corner, down the sidelines. Now on the coverage aspect, you have to roll coverage toward Andre Johnson. Force Kevin Walter to be consistent. Force Jacoby Jones to be consistent and take away that number one option in Johnson and that for you force TJ Eason into situations that you want him to throw into. Now let's take a look at some X factors in this ball game. X factors for the Houston Texans, it has to be TJ Yates's ball security. He has to protect the football. He has to respect the football. Great job in not turning the football over against Cincinnati. You can't have those type of turnovers against the Baltimore Ravens. X factor for the Ravens has to be the play calling. Play calling has to be balanced. Yes, Baltimore can attack vertical down the field. Yes, they can run the football. They have to get a good balance of both. Otherwise, the Texans can just front load and get downhill. Now, let's look at this game as a whole. Big matchup these teams did play earlier in the season. I'm not counting that game because different matchups right now with the injuries. I'm going with Baltimore in this ball game. Reason being their defense is a lot fresh. Offensively, they're going to run the football and they have many targets that's going to pose a lot of mismatch problems for the Houston Texans. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. Follow me on Twitter at FBallGamePlan and listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.